Good morning you guys it's Karen and today I thought I'd just come and have a chit chat because we're going on holiday and I thought you know what by the time I get a lot of the videos that are done on my list it's going to be months and there's so many things I want to tell you about so I'm going to give you a little summary of them so things like I've been using the Pry night and day neck cream I've used this crazy tool on my hair I'm going to talk to you about two things I'm going to be trying on my hooded eyes give you an update on the caffeine serum you know there's a few things just to update you on um, I wanted to tell you that I'm going on holiday because we're going away for two weeks well hopefully we are um, in the UK there's about to be another announcement um, with some new restrictions we're hoping it's not another lockdown but you never know but we're hoping to be going away on Monday the 28th of September for a week just to England just to a little lodge and then Kev's also off week off work the week after so we're going to spend a week together so my plan is for there to be no videos for that two weeks because otherwise then I just constantly am checking comments and you know feeling like I need to answer them so yeah don't worry about me while I'm away it's it could not have come at a better time you know it's been such a shocking year obviously with my dad dying I'm still coping with that obviously with Watson's health you know we we nearly lost him a couple of times he's been so ill but is doing so well at the moment and so yeah a holiday and just a break away from everything and out in the fresh air will be exactly what I need um, and I also wanted to touch on sponsorship because I've been asked twice now if videos were sponsored and they weren't and so um, I wanted to talk about that the sponsorship actually let me start with the sponsorship I, one of the questions was over on my doggy channel and it was I was talking about um, a subscription box called woof woof and they were asking if it was sponsored it absolutely isn't I don't do sponsored videos I've done two in my seven years on YouTube and like I say a general as a general rule I don't do sponsored videos and the reason why there's three reasons number one is that it seems to me like it's it's cart before the horse because it, I get a lot of requests to do sponsored videos and what they're asking for is to agree an amount of money to talk about their product, to do a dedicated video about their product and to say how wonderful it is. But when in general the, these people are coming to me with new products and I've never tried them and so I have no idea if I'm going to like them, you know. So, so generally I go back and say no because I'm like, you know, I don't know if I'm going to like it. You can send it to me as a PR product if you like, but um, and if I like it, I might talk about it in a video. If it's amazing, I may do a dedicated video. That's what happened with the, do you remember the Jinri curling tong? Um, I think they had approached me for sponsorship. Certainly a lot of um, the Asian market have products on Amazon and they will you know, send me emails and say, will you, can we pay you to do a video to talk about this face brush or recently it was a toothbrush and you know lots of different things like that and I'll always say no but you can send me it as a PR product and if I think it's amazing I'll do a video and that's what happened with the curling tong I really did think it was amazing the second thing and this is probably the the biggest thing to me is the control aspect because once um, somebody is sponsoring a video they quite rightly in a way want to be able to tell you kind of what to say and how long to speak about things for and so that's not something I want I just I want my videos to be really organic and natural and if I'm trying to read from a script or trying to say things talk for a certain amount of time or say things cover things that people have asked me to it's just going to sound really unnatural um, and that's not what I want for my channel you know the third reason is trust I want you guys to trust my opinion and I know that when I'm watching a sponsored video I have an element of distrust I'm not saying that everybody that does sponsored videos can't be trusted absolutely not I'm not saying that at all but just the very fact that you are being paid to talk about a product means that you will you are unlikely to mention the negative points you know with um the one sp sponsored video I did like I said I've done two but the one I did about the Juvederm lip plumper it was brilliant and it did work and you know I wouldn't have done a video if I didn't think it was great the reason I don't use it is because it's not permanent um but I don't know whether I said that in the video you know you would have an amount of respect for a company that were paying you to not point out too many negatives um, and so that's why I don't do sponsored videos um, and actually I'm going to film a video today having a complete rant about a company that's going to go over on Patreon because I was approached and asked to if they could pay me to wear something of theirs in a video and I said to them I don't want to be paid but you can send me it you know and if I think it's lovely I will wear it and talk about it in a video um, and so they agreed to that but they came back with all these 
it needs to be for three minutes and you need to say this and you need to say that and I went back to them and said no 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 this is a PR product you can't tell me what to say in the video and I certainly won't be asking for your approval for the video because they were saying you know you have to send you have to have it up by this date and you have to send it to us for approval and I was like no 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 that's not what my channel's like I will say what I want in the video for as long as I want you know um and so I said to them so if if you know it's probably better you don't send it to me but they were still keen and they said no no we'll send it to you anyway I go into more detail um, about that in the the video I'm going to do on Patreon but I I generally don't do sponsored videos the only ones I would consider were if somebody like DCM came to me and said we'll pay you to talk about your favorite products I would say yes absolutely and I wouldn't need to get the products first because I can easily talk about my favorites you know so that kind of thing I would maybe consider but um yeah I just I want you guys to trust me and like I said I have a level of distrust of people doing sponsored videos so I would expect that from my viewers as well um, the one that people asked me if it was sponsored was the current body LED neck thing so no definitely not sponsored um, but I got it sent to me I told you guys that a quick update on LED therapy so I am still using the LED face mask and I wanted to tell you that I'm using it with green tea because um, a lot of you are suggesting that to me and I have been using it with green tea for quite a while I just forgot to mention it in any of the well in the video that I talked about the the lamp the face mask um all I've done though is I've just used green tea bags, soak them and then I've put it into a spray bottle which I've put in the fridge. I spray that on my face and wait for as long as I can before using it. There's only one um, research study, I don't know if it's small, I think it is because it's, it's difficult to get the full details of the study, you can only really see a summary of it. There isn't a full report available so it doesn't even tell you how many people but what they did was use actual green tea tea bags and had them on the face for 20 minutes before using the LED light and the results of that study were that the LED light was four times as effective I think it was four times maybe it was more than that but it was a lot more effective um, and so obviously it's going to be tricky to sit with green tea bags all over your face for 20 minutes so I'm, I'm just spraying it and waiting as long as I can but I think I'm only managing like five minutes or something like that um, it may be better to use a serum if you can find a really concentrated green tea serum put that on your skin leave it on there for 15 20 minutes and then do your led mask but you know when you add all of these elements in it can make for a very long skincare routine but i am using the green tea um i'm still using the face mask i'm still using the, the neck mask and i'm also using my care lamps um lamp and i really wanted to give you a couple of updates on that number one i'm still using it for my knee so i've not been sitting in front of it for my face even though i do enjoy using it that way um i just wanted to really do a concentrated three months on the the face mask with the green tea but anyway i'm using the care lamp for my knee also for my neck um my neck has been slightly better my migraines are still bad so it, it hasn't worked for that but for my knee I'm still not using any kinesio tape so the kt tape that i usually use on my knee is something that is normally a regular buy for me and i w wear it every day you know and change it every three days but i haven't worn it for a long time and i've been walking watson and i feel like my knee is much better and that there's nothing else i've changed you know i haven't lost weight i haven't added any supplements in i haven't changed my diet there's nothing else that can be affecting it but something else that I found out that I was very excited about I don't even know how I came across it but is that LED light can help thread veins well I have got um, a little patch about like that of thread veins on the back of my knee um, and I've also got one tiny one on the front of my thigh now I had the ones on the back of my knee I actually had treated when I was 18 so you know 30 years ago with scolotherapy um, and I was thinking about having that done again because from memory it worked um, and then I saw this thing about the LED and I was like right okay is there any way I can sit in front you know put my leg in front of that lamp it's going to be quite tricky because of where it is um, and it's on the, the the opposite knee to the one I'm treating so that doesn't work unfortunately but I suddenly thought let me have a look at the veins on my face because I have actually got thread veins around my nose I've got them on my chin as well I noticed the other day but really most notably around my nose but of course I've never taken any before pictures so I can't show you before and afters but I have now taken some pictures as the kind of before if you like but looking at them I do feel like they look slightly better but I don't know whether that's just the kind of placebo effect you know um but I'm very excited about that so I'm going to try it on my leg and see see how I get on and see if I can see any difference at all and I've taken pictures of that as well so I wanted to let you guys know because that's an area I didn't even know that it 
it would work on. Okay, let me check this list. So I do get questions asking me about my health and also about how I'm, you know, coping with my dad, etc. Um, but I talk about both of those things over on my other channel. So I have got, this is my main channel, The Beauty Maverick. Then I've got Life as a Zebra, which is health updates. I talk on there about my headaches and where I'm at and what the treatment is happening. I'm going to be talking about hormone replacement therapy and menopause. I'm going to be talking about, or I do talk about grief. I've done like grief diaries. Um, and so all of that is over on the Life as a Zebra channel. I also have my What's and the Warrior channel, which is all about making dogs happy basically there's a lot of vlogs of Watson when he was younger and I occasionally put you know videos of him doing tricks and things um so that's another channel and then the fourth one I've got obviously is Patreon which is a private channel um which is about three pound a month and there are more sort of personal videos over on there and my husband even appears in them occasionally I'm on Instagram um I'm on Twitter but I don't really use it i, I I can't remember the last time I posted on Twitter years ago it was I really only have that account because I've got a friend on there that I follow her dog <laughs> um I am on Instagram and also Facebook and my Instagram posts post to Facebook so it will be the same feed on both occasionally there's extra things on Facebook um but when I'm on holiday Instagram is where I'll be posting both for what's on the warrior and maybe on the beauty channel a little bit as well on the the beauty maverick on instagram so if you wanted to still keep up with me that's where you would find me hooded eyes that's the other thing to update you on i did that video on hooded eyes and my kind of hooded eye journey which you guys really enjoyed so thank you for that because it was um, a tricky video to make you know it was one that, that took a lot of work finding the right photos etc um there were a couple of comments well there was two comments and that was it just saying that, that I'm obsessed with my hooded eyes and I should ignore it and all the rest of it um but obviously we've all got things that bother us and I'm like I said not saying that they look terrible and that I'm really depressed about it but it's an area that bothers me and so I am going to look into and try things that will make it look better you know I don't think there's anything wrong with that and also you know I have this channel and I know that a lot of people are really bothered by hooded eyes as well and so if I can find something that works then I can tell you guys about it and maybe you won't have to try everything especially because things are, are very expensive you know um you'll know what works and what doesn't like I'm my biggest thing is I'm hoping that people don't have plexoplasma that were maybe thinking about it um, because I just it doesn't work as far as I'm concerned two things that I forgot to tell you about the whole hooded eye thing the first one is that what I have realized over this journey and only recently is that it's not actually about hooded eyelids necessarily. Um, it is a little bit for me, particularly on my right eye because there is a little bit more skin on the right side that actually sits on my eyelid. Um, but the biggest thing actually is the fact of their texture. It's the fact that they are crepey, as they say, you know, they kind of puckered and that's what I don't like more so than the hooded because the pictures I looked at when I did that video, I was like, oh yeah, my eyes were hooded pretty much all the time. You know, it's just that the skin was smooth and so it didn't bother me. So I think it's less about the hooding and more about the texture of the eye um, or the eyelid. So that was one thing I forgot to mention. So I think you maybe could treat it a little bit differently. I think that there's other things I could try that will help with texture that aren't necessarily about just taking skin away you know or, or tightening the skin or removing the skin or whatever um, it's about the texture of the skin that's left the other thing was that there I have this problem on this right eye and like I said there is a little bit of extra skin here so I don't know whether that's why the problem but if I as soon as I put my crease color on each eye no matter how light the eyeshadow is um, it catches there's a bit on here that it just seems to grab whatever eyeshadow I put on even if I like tap off the brush and go really really gently it grabs all of the eyeshadow I don't know whether it's there's a little fold or what and it just will not blend out it's so frustrating so what that means is that I have to put a darker color in the outer corner of my eye in order to even things out and I spend a lot of time putting more color on this side because this side grabs the color like I said on my crease color I couldn't just wear a crease color and no outer corner color because this just grabs the color and I suppose I could if I matched this side up but it it sort of grabs it just below the crease um, it's really hard to explain and it's something you'd probably only see if I did a get ready with me or a tutorial you know um, and it may not be that noticeable to you guys because sometimes it does it's quite obvious that there's more 
eyeshadow on this side than this side um, but that's something that bothers me as well so that's another reason why I'd really like to at least have some improvement on this eye see if I can balance things out can you see what I mean I'm lifting my eyes up to try and you know I lift my eye up when I'm putting the color on so that it doesn't catch and I just don't understand why it catches it, it it's catching on a bit that doesn't even seem to be creased and it does this with every single shadow you know, every brand of shadow, even the ones that I love, you know, like Visor and whatnot, it does it with every single shadow. I've tried lots of different brushes. I've tried it using a primer underneath. I've tried not using a primer. I've tried powdering first. I've tried literally everything. And this one is perfect. And this one always goes like that. And I, and I can't get it off unless I actually use makeup remover. You know, I can't buff it off. I've tried switching to another harder brush and buffing it, but it just just stays caught in that little bit there. So two other things that I'm trying with that in mind are RF, so radio frequency. That's something that I have, I have seen a video of somebody that's actually had really good results with radio frequency device, with a device on hooded lids. Um, it's, I definitely need to look into it more and I will you know, look into the research and do a full video for you guys telling you how it's going to work. But what I've ordered is called I think it's called a Sensi Lift, and it's a smaller, more affordable device than the other ones I've talked about. So I've, you know, obviously the LED mask is two to three hundred pound. The little um, Foreo Bear is two to three hundred pound, but this one is a hundred and what was it, hundred and sixty something like that, maybe hundred and seventy. I always seem to get the prices wrong from memory, you know. But it's definitely under two hundred pound, and so it's a more affordable one. And like I said, I think that that's one that I'm quite excited about in terms of results, potential results. That should be arriving today, so I might well take it on holiday, I'm not sure. We'll see how big it is, how easy it is to use. Uh, although I don't think you need to use it every day, I think you need to use it, I think they recommend once a week, but the one I watched, he only used it once every three to four weeks. So I need to do a little bit more investigation before I use it, but I am gonna be trying that out. The other thing that I really, really want to try is a TCA peel. Um, that's something that I think could definitely help with the texture of the skin. And so that's, um, I'm quite excited about the thought of that. So I got a 10% TCA. Um, this is the little bottle I got. And so I have just been doing sort of patch testing with this. So I firstly put a little bit just on my foot. I just wanted to see how strong is this? And I saw nothing from it at all. And then I did a little patch test sort of just here on my ear, felt nothing at all. And so I thought, right, I'm gonna go on to using it on just in this sort of dimple of my chin, I've got these tiny, tiny whiteheads. I thought, I'm going to try it there. And I only did one layer. This is 10%, so it's it's low. Um, I couldn't see anywhere to get lower than that, otherwise I might have got like a 5% or something. You can um, do more than one layer if you like. So I have done the one layer of this. I left it on only for five minutes, washed it off. There's a tiny little bit of peeling in that sort of line in my chin, but not very much at all. So I am going to go back in and do another swipe and leave it for 10 minutes or do two two swipes and leave it for five minutes I'm not sure yet um, and see how I get on with that and then once I'm kind of satisfied that I'm definitely you know my skin isn't looking terrible because this is four days ago I used this um, then I will do one swipe on the crease of my eye and like I said hopefully I can do this on my holiday so that I don't need to worry about makeup or anything one swipe, leave it for five minutes, rinse it off and see what happens. I've seen people using 12%. I saw somebody mistakenly using, was it a 25% she used, a ridiculously high one and her face was just, her eyes were a wreck, but I'm sure they looked lovely afterwards. Um, but obviously you need to be extremely careful when using this kind of thing. And I've been preparing my eyelids. I'm using lactic acid on my eyelids at the moment, the 10% from the ordinary. It doesn't sting, it feels lovely. That's something I'd actually be quite happy to use. One other possibility um, is a product that I've used before and I love how it feels on my skin and I'd kind of forgotten about it. I'm gonna write it down here actually, I'm not, it's not even on my list, but it's alpha lipoic acid. That's a real possibility because I remember when I did the video on alpha lipoic acid from The Ordinary, I have found a study where it was showing to be really good for fine lines around the eyes. So that's something I might well revisit again, but it's a real tricky product because I, I used it too much, definitely. And if you, if I didn't just use it once a week, excuse me, it is a really powerful acid, really powerful. And like I said, if I, I think I needed to use it like 
the tiniest drop maybe mixed in with a moisturizer or something once a week and build up but I think with that one I just used it too much and it my skin was really irritated and I can't remember what else I was using at the time so I need to use it again and have a plan for that to be the focus of what I'm using you know and at the moment I'm using happily using the peptides and niacin I'm not sure about the niacin I oh my goodness <laughs> sorry about that it is um delivery central around here I know exactly what this is this is a an anniversary present for my husband it's our eight year anniversary in a week wow this is sealed well and actually this is the second one I ordered my head must not have been in the game with the first one I ordered because I ordered a tiny one the wrong size and the wrong color but this yeah that looks better it's just a sort of rope bracelet from a company called pig and hen in Amsterdam so yay love that he's gonna really like that was I still talking about alpha lipoic acid no I was talking about peptides so I'm currently using the buffet um, and I'm still using it with the niacin but I've actually or I was I've stopped it three days ago because I had these little this this area here is where I tend to break out if it is to do with a product whereby I've got a spot on my chin which I know is because I've been eating carbs um, you know there's some things that are dietary with me and I know that breaks me out in pimples if you like but these little sort of itchy lumps in this area or up here are always to do with products and so I don't know whether that's the niacin or not so I'm just going to leave that off and keep using the buffet and see what happens and see if they go away once they've gone away I'll start using the niacin and see if anything pops up again um, but what I was saying was I do I would like to try the alpha lipoic acid again in the future maybe even just around the eye area you know so radio frequency device on the way TCA peel alpha lipoic acid that's everything for that the caffeine serum um, from the ordinary that I was using underneath my eyes because you know I was saying you can probably see I've got some some bags going on here I'm still not sleeping great um, I've stopped choosing this because I had a brief look at the research and wasn't that impressed and I also looked at a lot of reviews and a lot of you guys were saying that it really dries out the under eye so I've stopped choosing this for now and I am using the the Niod fractionated eye contour concentrate um, which I'll be showing it in the, the, the video I'm about to film which is a repurchase haul um, I know that I love that and I think as I said to you about what my plan was for my hooded eyes is it's all about hydration and so if something's going to dry out my, my eye area that's not something I want to be using so I'm just going to leave that aside I'm not saying it's a complete no but I'm just not that keen at the moment so that's caffeine um pry a lot of you guys have asked me if I would review these um this is the ageless throat and decolletage night cream and this is the throat and decolletage cream so day cream night cream I've used up the whole of the night cream I'm really surprised with this because it has retinol in and you guys know retinol is one of the ingredients that I'm like no I'm not using that again but as I said in that video where I talked about it my exception was if a product come out that you guys wanted me to review that was particularly interesting and it happened to have retinol in it then I would give it a go and that's what I've done with this and then I've also got I've got one more one or two more goes of the day cream I don't know how that's worked out maybe I started off using the night cream no yeah that's probably I started off using the night cream I've been using this for just under two weeks both of these you can see that I've completely finished this um they smell amazing and they don't smell like super fragranced it's a very light fragrance it's really really beautiful I have to say but of course that means that it's probably got fragrance in it um but what I'm amazed at is that my neck hasn't gone crazy even though this has retinol and it doesn't look to be a retinol derivative from my look at the ingredients it looks to be actual retinol it's quite high up the list um my neck just hasn't responded at all you know it hasn't gone crazy retinol would normally really make my my neck red and itchy and um and it hasn't they are ah! <laughs> i've always got to do that in one video haven't i they are a pleasure to use is what i was going to say like they feel feels like you're putting silk on your neck it's just the first time I used it I was like oh that feels absolutely lovely but would I recommend you run out and buy them no these I bought from I'll link it I can't remember if it was probably cult beauty but it might have been like beauty bay or something like that these are just little travel sizes um 
and I thought well that's a way I can try them because I wouldn't have bought the two it was too expensive to buy the the full sizes they do do them in boots actually and I think they're like 25 pounds each do I recommend them at the moment no I think they would be a lovely gift for somebody if you know that they're okay with you know they've not got super sensitive skin because they feel really really luxurious to use they do make my skin feel really soft but have I seen amazing results in the two weeks as everybody else did? No, absolutely not. Um, and so, and I can't see anything in the ingredients immediately. I need to have a li little bit of a further delve into that, but I can't see anything that I'm like, oh yeah, that would be a great anti-aging ingredient, you know. Um, but they feel really nice. So that's kind of a mini update on that. Oh, the only other thing to tell you about is this because I, they seem to be everywhere at the moment. Um, and it's basically you put your hair in it press a button and it sucks the hair into it there there was one um by babyless that i had tried years ago but you had to put the tiniest amount of hair in that and, and it would get stuck for me and so that was a no-go and i really do still like my jinri you know that's an automatic curling tong but i love gadgets like this so i wanted to give it a go so i will do a review of this for you but what i would say is that this will give you i think tighter curls than the jinri one um, but although obviously I've got a lot shorter hair now, but yeah, it's actually really easy to use. It did not look easy. It's another one of those where I thought, is my hair going to get caught? Is it going to look all lopsided? You know, what, how is this going to work? Um, and I wasn't consistent with the timings. You can choose how long to hold it on the heat. And I wasn't consistent with that. I didn't really know what I was doing. It's typical me. I don't read the instructions. I just want to try it out. Um, but you switch it on here. And then you just hold this button down and let me just switch this off i don't want it to heat up and like i said you sort of hook your hair onto it and just hold it on your head like that um what i would say is that this is actually quite heavy it doesn't feel super heavy when you first get it but after using it if like me you have joint problems i wouldn't recommend this if you don't have joint problems and you like really tight curls um then i think that this would probably be pretty good for you because it I could have made them even tighter than this you know this is me like running my fingers through it and trying to get it out a bit i put a picture or a video up on instagram this morning when it was first done it was really really curly um but yeah it's a neat little gadget because it's cordless so you just charge it up so i loved that i loved that there was no lead at all you know you could put it wherever on your hair and and you didn't have a lead so that was really really good so let me know if you want a full demo of this like i did with the other one um but i'll link it for you in case you you want to buy it that's everything that's all of my updates a long old video but i'm glad i've got all that off my chest you know like i said i had all of these things that i was like oh, i really need to get and do a video and update them on this care lamp and tell them that it might work for veins and i wanted to tell you about the green tea and i wanted to tell you about the pry creams and you know so i'm glad i've got all of that not off my list because like i said i will still do videos but um at least you kind of have a summary from me um let me know your thoughts i'd love to know your thoughts on all of those and which of all the things i've been talking about on here which are you most excited to hear about like to hear an in-depth review of you know is it the the caffeine or is it the radio frequency device or is it the hair device or is it the prior cream what is it let me know and i will kind of prioritize that when i'm back from my holiday um we are supposed to be getting a UK announcement today, I think, and then there will probably be an announcement from the Scottish Prime Minister, Nicola Sturgeon. Scottish Prime Minister? Is that what she is? Oh. Anyway, Nicola Sturgeon is the one that will be telling us what's going on, and that will probably be tomorrow, and then we will know if we are able to go on holiday or not. Um, if not, we'll just do more of what we were planning to do the following week, you know, like I said, go for lovely walks and whatnot. So, but really, I really, really hope that we can get away that's everything for today i'll tell you what i've got on my face though i have got on the number seven i've actually got it here although this is a different color yeah this is calico this is the hydroluminous moisturizing foundation um, and the one i used was in cool ivory on my eyes is the morphe vintage rose palette um really enjoying that i have to say i've used it a few times and it's really really pretty on my cheeks i've got a makeup geek blush in i think it's called romance pretty sure it's called romance on my lips is the Too faced liquid lipstick in holy chic and then this lip gloss I've, i will need to do a haul for you guys it's by madison beer and this one is in mercury i think and i've got another one coming i'm going to do a morphe haul because i've got a few really really good products from there um 
that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon.